Hey, dude, what's up? Welcome to the stream, dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ardo Surge man. What's this game about? It's about space fairies, and you have to defeat them with song magic, with song stresses. Sort of similar to defeating computer viruses with the power of song. Only you're fighting sexy fairies. Right, um, about that, yeah. Also, um, we're on a mission to help some sexy fairies, yeah. No, we're not gonna turn into a shawl again. Although that part was really good. I do like being a shawl. Jump, jump, like a bunny. Alright, we should probably go talk to Sarley. Maybe she'll help us. Dreams are a little weird. Let's go talk to Sarley. Maybe she'll help us. Alright, we're getting a cutscene, I think. Yep, we are. Did you manage to persuade Leoman? No, he told us we were impure and then banished us. Yeah, luckily he didn't banish us to the Shadow Realm. Or, I mean, the Purple Realm of Purple Mist. Yes. <laughs> Down to the surface to help Ion. Oh, hey, there she is. Charlie, can you help us save some Charles? Now, the surface is disappearing, but you already know that, don't you? Yes. Power source, the switch of the power source, but the... Um, the Surge Concerto terminal. And, fortunately, um, some... He was able to operate the terminal, but something happened. Hey, Pram, why are you watching from a distance? Problem is the console's location. Part of the Arno Surge 2, in other words, it's on the Star Singer platform. Well, that's where we need to go anyway. When are we going to get Delta to the Star Singer platform? I want to do that right now. Yeah, we need to get him free of the player, man. Yeah, we need to get him free of player. Yeah, which would be me. Yes, my name is player. My last name is player. Yeah, my name is player player. Oh yeah, speaking of which... I did actually make a, um... Famer Girl superhero. Yes, I was inspired by the freaking stupid internet gas thing from, um, the new Warriors that never happens. Oh, Prim is gonna help? Okay. Well, um, only this streamer girl, she was dreaming. She dreamed of making her own games after doing streams for so long. But, and, but lacked the skill to do it, so she decided to, hey, okay, I'm gonna use the cybernetic implants in order to, um,. Merge my mind with them um, with the game with cyberspace in order to create what I want to create. Only as you know, it led to some unintended side effects. What to happen? Wait, what? Wait, what? The maternal overseer is corroding. Yep, they haven't given up on their goals, huh? It appears from you song magic. Yeah. And some of the side effects are turning her into her avatar for her streaming. And then, um... She started developing some weird powers until one day she stopped a, um... That guy that was harassing your friends, trying to get money from her. And she defeated him by conjuring 
by using a construct of digital origin. Alright, what am I supposed to be doing? We're gonna have to head over to the Star Singer platform, aren't we? Hopefully we can get there before um, the enemy does. Hopefully we can get there. It's through the temple, huh? Weren't we banished from being here by, by Leoman? Yeah, I still will call him Leoman. He does look a lot like Leoman. Yeah, you see, Leoman, he can, he's really, really salty about dying all the time, man. So he stole the power of one of the seven archlords and, um... And he decided to make himself into a god. And decided to purge the humans from the world, yeah. Yeah, in other words, he's a bad guy. No, not really. Not really, he's as much of a victim as Jill's manipulation as, um, anyway, as everybody el every other villain in this game. I kind of sad that Cass's, Ca Cass and Delta's kid became a villain. But there's a lore related reason for that that will become, re that will become relevant later. You see, we're not the only ones that are being controlled by player, man. Not only we're being controlled by a different player. Only it's a different player. It basically sees this world as a game. Well, I do too, but um, I want to actually help the heroes and accomplish our goals, yeah? Edge. Yes, every time we use that song magic, we're gonna have to say Edge. It's just like Catherine, dude. I gotta say Edge all the time. Edge, 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 Edgy, 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 Edge. Cutting myself on the edge. Oh, you know what? I mean, yep, that reminds me that I made a stereotype. They made a terrible edgelord stereotype. Yeah. But, but that way leads to Star Singer platform. It says to go there, but it says not to go there. But I can't go there. Alright, I guess we'll have to help the troll first. Alright, I guess we'll help the Charles first. Yeah, I made like this edgy bad boy dude in a leather jacket and a and carrying a giant razor blade. Wait, this is not the place we go. Wait a minute, this area is over open. Interesting. Well, we got a new thing open in the world map. We're gonna use a space bus to rescue the Charl, okay. Oh, and you're gonna drop us off at the Star Singer platform, okay. Poke Day's cheek, push the power switch. Yeah, let's not poke her cheek, man. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna antagonize her. Yeah, I don't wanna trigger any violent shade rate tendencies. I know I've been saying a lot of weird things for the lulls. Yeah, intuition, that's what it is. It's totally not that we're under control of player. Yeah, we totally didn't learn it from Earthside at all. No. Yeah, so it's also a side effect of being a player controlling two different characters, man. Oh, wow. These generic guys are gonna help us save the shuttle. Excellent. Alright, hopefully they'll drop us off of the Star Singer platform so we can do some stuff. Hey look, they reused some footage! Hey look, they reused the cutscene! <laughs> it's like stock footage. Star Singer platform has an anti-wave shield so the bus couldn't go near it. 
great. We'll be there. We'll be there. We're saving the star. We want to destroy him. We're outside the ship. Yeah, it appears there's a whole world outside the ship, man. Yeah, it, there's air in space. We learned. Yeah, everybody knows there's totally air in space, man. Oh no, the ultra, the ultra has been added to the map, man. Twenty-four waves of enemies. Yeah, he was carrying a giant, and that dude, with, that edgelord dude, was carrying a giant razor blade because it's super edgy. Although he's not really edgy in personality. He actually got banished from his people for not being edgy enough, man. Oh, Arc Vlad, okay. I did order a few things recently. On the PS3 store. Yeah, it's apparently still active. I decided to get a few things. I look forward to seeing if the PS5 has a PS3 as a store like that. That'd be pretty good, man. But mainly, I got the the main reason I got the PS3 in the first place was because of was because of another streamer Kaka was because of another guy that was making videos. Um, Kagato, the final boss, he was playing Persona. Oh wait, the game he was playing that inspired me to get this though was um, Tales of Zilla. I already played that game, by the way. It's pretty good. I should play Tales of Zilla too sometime now. Oh, we're already at 100. Unleash Toy Installer. Kill them all with toys. Yeah, sort of like Hollyanna does. Oh, she was trained by Santa Claus, you see. Right, so the Edgelord dude, he was basically banished from his people for not being edgy enough. And um, he was sent into a... He was sent into an interdimensional prison with an evil, insane fairy that wants to get out. Yeah, she is a smiling, evil, cackling little maniac. Who is basically sent there because she believes in the power of friendship very, very strongly and basically believes anybody who is not her friend must die. Yeah. Yeah. Needless to say, they... Kind of get out and kind of get into a conflict with each other, man. Alright, I wonder if this is the way I'm supposed to be going. Well, I see a door over here. Let's go check it out. Oh, upper area, huh? Wow, this is amazing. Yes, we're also not wearing spacesuits. Hey, come on. We don't have time to stand around. See, there's air in space, man. It's just for a few minutes. Besides, we need a break. We can't afford it right now. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> I mean, yes, it is pretty amazing. The stars are very pretty. So pretty. Also, how are we not suffocating? Back in Felion, I never imagined something like this even existed. Well, we were inside a colony ship. It's not that surprising. A colony ship that got invaded, but got invaded by alien fairies that formed a cult that now wants to harvest human beings to make them eternal overseer. Wait, they were manipulated by Jill to harvest human beings to make the to make her into the maternal overseer so that she could establish the One World Order. Hey, you're right. Yeah, the New World Order. Yeah, because Jill is in the Illuminati, you see. Yeah, just like all evil cult leaders are in the Illuminati, man. Yeah, and Tales of Azaria, the main villain, is basically the Illuminati, man. I feel like I've been... They've been covering up their crimes, and they made them innocent people and demons, man. Or like Velvet was one of their victims, man. And she became an edgelord by being in prison for so long, man. So much so that vengeance was on her mind constantly. Please don't dodge... Two and a half years ago, you opened the barrier around Felion from the inside. Wait, what I did? It closed again right away, but not before a lot of Charl came in and wreaked havoc on the city. When they asked you why you did it, you kept saying it was for the good of the city. 
But no matter how hard you tried to convince them, everyone continued to treat you coldly. Wait, what? You was brainwashed into letting Charles into the city. Why are you bringing that up now? You've had the same look on your face lately as you did back then. What do you mean? Is there some sort of connection? I don't know. You're not going to tell me anything, are you? Wait, I'm being controlled by a pl by a player by somebody from outside the game, man. Oh, hey, I mean, um, player, yeah. Come on. Cass. Yes, my name is Player Player. To be talking about. We don't stop you may call me Sarah the, the RPG dude. What even matter? I, don't I mean, Sarah the RPG that. gamer dude. What do you mean? Delta. What? I really like you. No. No, I love you. I've loved you ever since we were kids. Oh, Cass is admitting her true feelings, man. You might not remember, but I've always loved you. Yes, I have been assumed to you because I'm not I don't love you or anything. Even though I said I totally love you. Baka. Where did this all come from? <laughs> Please, just tell me. What's happening to you? If something's wrong, I wanna be there for you. Oh, thank you for saying so. Yes, I Please, just tell me the truth. I'm worried sick about you and it's driving me crazy. It's okay, I'm gonna help you. You look the same and sound the same, but something seems different. Not that anyone seems to notice. Except for me. I notice. I've known you for too long. Wait, what? Is something happening? Cass. Are you gonna hit her? Oh, you're gonna hug her. When did you first notice that there was something strange going oh, on? Oh, we're hugging each other, man. Oh, this is sweet. Long time ago. Either wor she's worried about him and he wants yes. to console her and say there's like nothing yeah. wrong and that we're gonna fix it very okay. soon. Yeah. I shouldn't have thought there was a like prim, man. No. Cass. That's just yeah. too much, man. I love you too. Oh, Delta admitted his true feelings. The Din Shonen protagonist committed his feelings for the main girl. Cool, huh? So I'm hoping you'll believe they should do that more often. What? Also, the Sundra should my just eyes. admit their true feelings. Why? Yeah. I'm not the one who's. I'm aware of everything, but it's. It's. Weird. I don't like these anime stereotypes, like man. They make dream. me. What? Eh. I'm being controlled through a program called Interdemand. Apparently, it allows someone from another world to control me. Oh, he's telling her about player. What are you talking about? Yes, uh, you're being controlled by play. He's being controlled by player cast. That's what it means. It keeps up. They'll get more and more control over me. Yes, I. It's my plan to take control of you forever and ever. <laughs> I am three. I am actually evil. You're kidding, right? I wish I was. I heard about it from Nello. After we fought the maternal overseer. At first, I didn't believe her. But then I started thinking about it. Oh, he's self-aware about player. We can't allow that. Now I'm sure. <laughs> My body's being controlled by someone else. Then why didn't you say anything? If I had, you would have worried about me, right? Of course I would. Idiot. Of course she calls him an idiot, yes. But if I go to the Star Singer's platform, I might be able to push this other being out of my body. How? Nello gave me a key. She said it's for a device at the Star Singer's platform. Yeah, it's also helping Nello's plan, by the way. She said I can use it to release myself from interdemand. Then you'd go back to being yourself? Maybe. I think so. That's why I want you to help me. I need you to lead me to the Star Singer's platform. Yes. Yes, of course I will. I know we can do it. We'll shut down the power at the platform and defeat the maternal overseer. Well, let's do it. Then you can be you again, and we can... Uh... We can what? Never mind. It's nothing. Yes, I'm not into you or anything, no. Come on, you were gonna say so. No. No, I wasn't. I was totally not gonna say I love you and want to be with you. And have fun with you. Um, or, or I mean, nothing, yo. You don't need to get mad. Well, you didn't need to be so pushy. <sighs> oh, right. I wanted to ask you something else. This is what it's like to be in a relationship with a tsundere. What is it's it? really annoying. We should harmonize. Harmonize? Yeah. Then I'll be able to share your senses, like sight and hearing. I want to see the view too. Harmonize, right? That's what they're calling it these days. What? Oh, you're hopeless. Fine. Wow, this is awesome. 
didn't know we were so high up. It's like a picture I saw a long time ago. Wait, hold on. Why is it blurry? Wait, what? Why is it blurry? What are you getting so excited for? <laughs> Why is it blurry? Thank you for telling me the truth. No, I'm sorry I waited this long. I thought I was keeping it hidden, but you figured it out. It's okay. We're good now. Cool. Uh huh. All right. Well, we're almost to the top. Let's get moving. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Oh, that was so sweet. All right. Let's jump up these gears. Hey, there's something here. Now I have to use the jump, apparently. Now give me that item there. Another crafting ingredients. We don't need to worry about that. Up to the Star Singer platform. Alright, where where do we go? What, Cass, you've been here before? Oh, when your planet was around, yeah. It was part of an amusement park. No mention you saved her from being pursued by bad people. What happened? You know, it has a decoy to help Nello escape. I don't remember. The Imperial government was using Nello's power and kept her locked up in a pod. Oh, similar to how Ion was locked in the pod and being used by Jill to make Charles. We should really do something similar to that, huh? Yeah. That would be pretty good. What if their powers extended beyond them um, just making a, um, making monsters and make it like an entire reality? Which kind of reminds me of Call It Island, man. No, I should probably play Link's Awakening again. I do like the Switch version of it. Both versions are pretty good, by the way. That leads out of here. We don't want to go there. We want to go up. Let's jump up these platforms, I guess. Platforming in an RPG. No, it doesn't suck. Alright, here's the R no surge tube. Now he was able to evacuate the Charles, that's good. Alright, tell Lord Bombus on how to disable it. You need to heart harmonize with the tube and then shut it down. The activation code is blank. There, that'll shut down the power, and then we'll be able to switch it, yeah? Gone dark. Alright, I guess the rest is up to Ion, then. Something's happening. You reached an episode point, so basically we're going to have to switch to Earths. The episode is now locked. Okay, let's go to Earth side then. Guess that means we're able to use this now in order to switch the power source. Nello and Prim, what are you doing here? Nello. We've come to stop you. Wait, really? Get out of here. Both of you. What what are you talking about? I I need to switch the power source now. If I don't, this world will be destroyed. You were born here in this world, right? If it's destroyed, you I'll be fine. Even if Prim is destroyed, 
Prim's insides won't be. You're talking nonsense. What? Prim wants to help Mommy and Daddy. You mean Delta and Cass? Yep. Okay, but I how does this help them? Too. But to do that, we have to stop the maternal overseer. Why? We won't let them die. Prim will use the maternal overseer to squish them up. Wait, what? No. What are you talking about? Yep, she's gone, Cuckoo. She's under control player too. The maternal overseer isn't trying to destroy the world. What are you talking about? She totally is trying to destroy the world. She wants to establish the new world order. She's Illuminati as frick, man. She wants to bring it together and make everybody happy. No, she does not. Get them. Everybody will become one. Yes, by being forcibly fused together against their will. Then nobody will ever get mad again. No, that's not how it works. That's why you can't change the power source. If this ship doesn't break, nobody will want to unite with her. I won't let you do that. Cass and the others did their part. I can use the CLN to switch the power source and save this ship. Don't tell them your plan, Ion. That's impossible. The system will recover too quickly. The maternal overseer isn't just going to sit by and watch quietly. Ionasol, please. Just come back home with me, okay? No. If we interfere here anymore, things will only get worse. We don't have much time left. Don't you get it? I'm not gonna agree with don't you, no. I destroy anything if I don't have to. I just want to go home. Yes, but you're going to have to destroy a bunch of people in order to do it, though, Nello. Can't you understand? I do understand, but no. I... I can't sacrifice this world for that. These people aren't the same ones who brought us here. I'm important to them. Why should they be forced to atone for crimes they didn't commit? Yes, exactly! See? Why should we be forced to atone for a bunch of crimes that these people did not commit? I mean, just because you just because you got the, transported to your world or got your planet destroyed by somebody doesn't mean everybody needs to suffer, man. I, I don't really get things like race or atonement for the past. These people aren't guilty, right? Yeah, see? All they're doing is trying to find happiness. Exactly! Now stop being a stick in the mud and get out of here, man. Especially all you on Twitter, man. That's why I chose them. I can't help you. I see. I'm going to sing. For the people of this world, and for the people who will live here after them. This song is for them! Oh, she's gonna sing a song for people, man. This is why Ion's a top tier waifu, man. Are right, you two gonna stand there and let it happen? Apparently so. I guess we convince them. Hopefully it's not copyright to sell. Oh, this is Gus and Koi Techno we're talking about. They probably won't do it. No, I don't want to play with you. No. Get out of here, kid. What are you doing, Prim? Are you gonna fight us? I'm gonna block it. Does that mean Earth's got destroyed? He's here to stop us. It's okay, Cass. Did you hear it? 
This is Eon's song. Eon. It'll be over soon. We just have to hold them off for a little longer. But she's basically immortal. Oh, we can't give up. Don't worry. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Right now, we need to sing with Eon. Delta? Okay, I got it. See, everybody's coming together to defeat every to defeat the villains, man. Now let's get started. Let's choose the edgy one. I am the final destination for all life. I shall prove that you two are nothing more than a part of me. Now we are going to defeat you, you weird Digimon thing. Finish them off, Delta. Sure thing, Delta. Sure thing. We can keep going. Take that. Take that. Do it right. Grand Slam. Six, six, six damage. Unleashing all wing restrictions. Not bad. My turn. Great. We can keep going. You can do it. Do it right. Get wrecked, Digimon. It's injured and has to retreat. This is pointless. So long as the Blast Sea exists, I cannot be defeated. Oh no. True peace is only found with the Maternal Overseer, not with this world. No, we are going to beat you up. Keep talking. We'll build our own home. With our own hands. Yeah, we are going to beat you up because you're not a good guy. Isn't it about time for you to step down? Eon's song is almost done. The system will be overwritten. True. However, if you were to fall here, the system would never stop. Ever. We won't let you do that. No matter your strength, you have a limit. Your stamina will deplete, and you will fall. I am inevitable. I am freaking Iron Man and I am going to delete you. Let's turn this dude let's turn this Digimon into dust, huh? She is correct. You could not drive her away, even if you fought for a hundred years. What? Oh Leomon, why are you here? Oh hey, thank you for the download. Leomon, are you here to help us? It appears you saved the Shah from a significant threat. While the actions of humanity cannot be forgiven, it would seem that I owe you a debt. I shall lend you my strength. What are you gonna do? She can't be defeated. I will hold her at bay. You shall be able to withdraw. I can't. We still have work to do here. If we can't restore the system, then this land is as good as gone. Lighting and life support on the ship are failing too. We have to save everybody, man. See. Do as you must then. While vanquishing her is impossible, even for me, I should be able to restrain her. Do it, yeah. Thank you, Corzo. I must thank you too, on behalf of the Shah and the Genom. Now go. There we go. Let's do it, man. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Come on, Cass. Right. You have to do it for everybody, man. Save this world. He's breaking apart. Destroyed. <laughs> Mean game over. <laughs> the channel got terminated. Well, it's safe to say we entered the next act of the game.
chapter two complete. We're on to the final chapter, guys. Chapter two ongoing. But they're gonna soon disconnect with Delta, man. All right, let's get to what we need to do. Need to get to what we came here for. It's final. Delta, get back to normal and come back soon, okay? All right, then. We'll do. Yeah, both of the both of the, champ we'll both of the people are getting. Meet Delta, class Arno search. Delta's disconnecting from the player, and um, Earth's is dead. What's this place? Is this inside the Arno search tube? Looks like this is the only thing here. What is this? A door? Hey. You're there, right? Hello there. You really are there. Are you controlling me? Why? What's the point? This game is fun, yeah. Stop screwing around. And stop trying to control somebody else's body. Give me my body back. I'm trying to get through this bad game. Nah, I don't I don't want to say that. No, this is not a bad game whatsoever. Just cut you off from over here. I won't let you. You son of a I said I won't let you. Why don't you just give up? I'll never give up. I'm the one controlling you! It seems like player is actually evil. Oh uh, what, static? That effect would be more convincing if it were, um, not modern air where everything's digital. Oh, she blew it up. Okay. Delta! Yep, she used her song magic to blow it up. Fatal air. Oh, we got a red screen of death. You know, it should have been a blue screen, man. All right, I got some new downloads for this game, man. Or rather, one. I bought a DLC for this. Reincarnation. This is where we're gonna get into. This is the part where we have to craft the reincarnation, man. This is part where both where Delta reconnects and um, Earth gets rebuilt. Are we in the tube again? It's been quite a while. Are you doing well? Um, Nelico. Yeah, let's um say who are you again? What? You forgot about me? Yeah, I'm just trolling you. Well, that's rude. I'm Nelico, the glamorous, beautiful shopkeeper. Seriously, how could you forget such a nice body or these stylish ears? Um. Anyway, what is this place? Why am I here? Hmm? Oh, you mean this? Hmm. Well, I guess you could say it's heaven. No, I disagree. To be honest, you're broken. To be more specific, you were destroyed. But the result's the same. You got broken into tiny little bits. If you hadn't woken up, I was thinking about putting you up for sale. Sale? To who? There's nobody here. I'd say you're about three carats. Hey, what? That's insulting. No, I'm just joking. It wouldn't matter how much you were worth. Nobody would come to buy you anyway. Well, that's because you're, there's nobody around. Still, you waking up made me realize something important. Wait, where's Ion? That I'm talking to you right now means I still exist. Are you gonna try and see central of Hyon? 
Which also means that this world still exists. Hmm. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to get all philosophical on you. <laughs> anyway, you should go take a walk. Sure, I guess I'll go take a walk then. I know what you're thinking. Just go. I'm sure you have a visitor you'll be really happy to see. Besides you? Okay. What about you? Wait, why are we saying that? Oh, I'll stay here, I think. I'm a little tie tie. You aren't even doing anything, no. That's not your business. Just get out of here already. Go on. See, let, let's. I'm sorry for being mean to you, Nalico. I'm just saying things for the lulls now. Yay, we got some material. Alright guys, I guess this is the point where I stop. There's reincarnation in more ways than one, guys. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Now we have to disconnect um freaking the uh, um maternal overseer from the flash seat. That would that way we can weaken her and defeat her, yeah. And thus we can save everybody Ben from her. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have plenty of fun. Remember to play games and have fun, okay? Bye bye now. I love you. Next up will be more trials of mana.